Welcome back to all of my cigar aficionados that are coming over from our video about the High West Whiskey we just did on the other channel. We are now going to pair this High West Whiskey, Whiskey, Whiskey? <laughs> we are now going to pair this High West Whiskey with a Don Pepin Garcia Cuban Classic. <laughs> Very nice. Now, what I'm getting on the nose of this, a fairly mild nose. I'm not really getting much. It kind of smells a little like, like hay, or maybe a little bit like a pile of fall leaves. You know that smell, that like a pile of fall leaves? I don't really smell that much anymore because I live in Florida, but when I was a kid, I remember playing in a pile of leaves and it smells a little like this, or maybe a little like hay. Got a nice little foot band on this guy. Usually those just slide right off. Yep, just pops right off. If you didn't come over from the first video, if you didn't come over from the first video uh, and you want more details on this High West Rendezvous Rye that we're gonna be having with this cigar today, I will link it right up here so you can go check that video out and get more details on this whiskey. Put a little V cut on that guy. I like V cut pretty much everything now. I don't even remember the last time I straight cut a cigar. To go over the details on this Don Pepin Garcia, very nice looking cigar. This is a Don Pepin Garcia Cuban Classic Bellicoso 1970, which is a five and a half by 54. It has a Corojo wrapper and it has Cuban seed Nicaraguan fillers and binder. Very good looking cigar. I like the wrapper. It's like this black and gold thing going on. But Don Pepin Garcia, obviously one of the main honchos at my father's cigars. I generally, Love my father's cigars. Now, I have smoked one of these cigars already. You probably know from watching these videos before, as always, I always smoke one of these and take notes because mainly in these videos, I don't smoke the whole cigar. I go over the flavors I got in the cigar, I smoke some of the cigar with the whiskey, and we kind of look at how these two play together and if they go nice, if it's a good pairing or not. Earthy, it's good. One of the, the things that I noted on this from the first time I smoked the cigar through is a lot of the reviews and different things I saw on the cigar, everybody uh, in the description they give on most websites of the cigar is they call it a full bodied cigar. I didn't get a extremely full body off the cigar. Um, it has good flavor and they're nice flavors, but I was calling this a little bit more of like a, I don't know, like a medium, maybe even medium to mild. It has very smooth, easy going flavors. It's not real super peppery. It wasn't really punching me. It's just kind of a nice, easy smoker. So maybe my taste buds are broke, but uh, the description of the cigar on most of the websites and what I got from it on my first smoke varied a little bit. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to pair it with this whiskey. A, I've been on kind of a rye kick, so I've been kind of trying to see and experiment which cigars pair well with ryes. I've never smoked this type of cigar, something that is Cuban-esque with a rye before. So, you know, a lot of times when I do these pairing videos, it's really kind of an experiment. Sometimes this shit might not work out, who knows? So, so far, all the ones I've done have been delicious based on what I know about smoking the cigar before and drinking the whiskey before. But uh, just because you think you know a cigar and you think you know a whiskey, sometimes you put them together and not so much. But most of the time it works out. My notes I have slightly sweet, pepper, earth, cedar woodiness, fairly mild. Nice smoke production, mild to medium body. I would agree with that. Getting the same thing. Almost like a cedary, but kind of a musty cedar kind of wood. There is like a sweetness to it. Definitely like an earth. The pepper is super mild. I only really get the pepper on the retrohale. Yeah, like I said, maybe it's like a wet cedar. It's kind of like a little bit of a musty flavor. Really pleasant though. Very enjoyable cigar. Let's see how it goes with this rendezvous rye though. I know I said earlier, sometimes it may not work out. I don't know if I've ever had a cigar that I didn't like with whiskey. <laughs> Cigars and whiskey are just kind of meant to be together. They just are, they're good bedfellows. Let's just say that. The one change I've noticed so far is a little bit of mustiness I was getting, which was kind of a very subtle kind of flavor, was drowned it out uh, after I took a sip of this and then took another puff off the cigar. I didn't notice that, musky, uh, that mustiness as much. But this, as almost always, and one of the main reasons that I love smoking cigars with, with whiskey, this tasted sweeter after having a few puffs off a cigar than when I was drinking this just by itself in the previous video without any cigar. Uh, this was a slightly sweet, kind of fruity sweetness. Um, with this cigar, it went to almost like a syrupy sweetness. A little bit of mild woodiness with the cigar. 
Yeah, that went to like a much, much sweeter. Some of the like minty kind of bits kind of rounded off a little more. It smoothed out. It basically just took an already fairly smooth and round rye whiskey and really just rounded everything off even more. Getting a lot of the same flavors with the cigar, still like a mild earthiness, a little bit of pepper on the retrohale and a tiny bit of like a cedar or some little bit of wood kind of flavor. That's the main flavors I got with this cigar even prior to the whiskey. So it's not changing the cigar a ton. It is making everything a little, uh, little milder version of itself. The cigar tastes a little less musty. The whiskey is a little sweeter, but it's going really well together. I'm enjoying them. Got a good little bit of like baking spice or something on that on that um, sip. You know, one of the reasons I picked this rye with this cigar is because I knew this wasn't a crazy strong cigar, at least in my opinion, even though for some reason all the reviews said it was like really robust and full flavored. I don't get it. But this also wasn't a crazy like knock my head off kind of whiskey. I find that most of the time, as long as I pair up a strength of a cigar and a whiskey together that are kind of similar horsepower, usually things kind of work out. You're gonna get varying degrees of complimenting this or maybe rounding this off or losing a note here and gaining a note here or emphasizing this and you know, whatever. But I find the only time that really it doesn't work out well is when you really mix up your horsepowers a lot. So uh, example I've given in a previous video, if you smoke a super, aggressive, peaty, smoky Isle of Scotch with like a super mild cigar, like a Davidoff. It's not that it's bad together, it's just the Davidoff to me goes to tasting like air. You don't, you pretty much lose most of it because the whiskey is a much higher horsepower, so to speak, uh, and it just really overpowers the cigar completely. These are both, in my opinion, kind of medium to mild whiskey, medium to mild cigar, uh, and I think they're playing well together. I've had a Cuban one time on a cruise many, many years ago. Who knows if it was an authentic Cuban cigar or not. Some of the comments that people say is that this is a Cuban-esque kind of uh, reminiscent or closest thing to a Cuban cigar they've had. I can't make those comparisons, but I will say from what I've heard from people that like Cuban cigars, this is kind of on point. It's a nice, easy smoking. There's not a lot of transitions through the cigar. It kind of is. Uh, a one trick pony all the way through. Uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Being a one trick pony can be a good thing if that trick is a really good trick and it just keeps going and it's extremely consistent all the way through. Some people don't want a whole bunch of transitions and crazy flips and loops in their cigar. They really want just a good solid flavor all the way through. And this cigar did do that for me uh, the first time I smoked it through. It was just a really enjoyable, mild to medium cigar, easy rounded off earth, cedar, slightly sweet, maybe just a touch of pepper on the retro hail. Really good cigar with a mild whiskey. Uh, could be really good with a cup of coffee. But again, I'm a little biased there because in my opinion, pretty much every cigar is good with whiskey and coffee. So maybe I'm not the best judge on that one. You can get a box of 20 for about 150 bucks. I feel like that's a great price point for these cigars. They're really good quality. They're rolled really well. The burn, if you can see, is just right on point. I've never had any burn issues with these. Great smoke production, great draw, a nice open draw with just a little bit of resistance, which is like perfect in my opinion. Good looking band, good looking wrapper. I mean, nothing to complain about. If you're into uh, mild to medium Cuban style cigars with those flavors, you're probably gonna enjoy this. Get yourself a nice cup of coffee or uh, in my opinion, I'd get you a nice little pour of this High West Rendezvous Rye and have yourself a enjoyable little time. It's really enjoyable. I don't know why I shit on ryes for so long. You know, some other time, maybe we'll do another one where you pair one of these with some of that Domenico rum back there. It's a very candied, sweet kind of rum. And I bet that super sweetness would go really well with these mild flavors also. This cigar had a very nice rendezvous with this rye and it was very tasty. <laughs> Man, that was a dad joke. God, that was such a bad dad joke. I'm a dad though, of three. I'm allowed to have dad jokes, right? If you're a dad, you're allowed to tell dad jokes. I think that's a, a rule. That's it for this one, guys. Really enjoyable cigar. Definitely, if you see one of these Don Pepin Garcia Cuban classics in your brick and mortar, pick one up and give it a try. Pick up some of this High West Rendezvous Rye. I think it's pretty good stuff. 
try them out together, let them have a little rendezvous with each other. <laughs> I think they go pretty well. I think you'll enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out for a little while today and drinking a little drink, smoke a little smoke. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope all you guys have a fantastic week. Happy smokes and long ashes to all of you, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.